to start his own football career wow. and actually do that once he has his last race, I think, actually, is this month or next month. Really? And he's now uh, uh, training in Europe, trying to sign for a team. We got talking and he loves pairs. It was such a fast conversation. We flew out to Jamaica, scanned him, and as you saw from the trailer, looks fantastic. Has got his celebration as well. Um, and it's huge for us because it's something, it's, it's the first time that, we had, that we've done this. We've had legends player before, but never a player outside of football, but it is still connected to the sport. Swift, you're so excited. What, what, what are his stats? I gotta know. Like, what do you have we haven't decided yet on, on, on the overall oh, stat okay. for sure, right. but I can guarantee he'll be the fastest player in the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Obviously, <laughs> that would be crazy if not. Oh, sure, that's absolutely wild. So you got to actually hang out with him like, while you're while getting him to the game, or how did that actually go? I'm curious, like. Yeah, kind of. I mean, we were there for the shoot. We, we did the full 3D scan because one of the things that we do with Pez, we take a lot of care in, in how the players look inside the game. And what you'll see when you actually are uh, seeing the gameplay is an amazing looking game, visuals. And, and it's something that we obviously to put him in the game, it had to be perfect. Right. Um, he got involved in some of the trailer shooting. We've got some more news with him coming out later in the year. Oh. Obviously, we've got a, a little bit of way to go before we uh, launch on September 12th. So we've got a lot of stuff going on with him. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. So uh, what did he say when you first reached out to him for this? Do you know what? It was a mutual conversation. We actually, it was like, hey, who are you? Hey, I work on Pez. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Usain likes Pez. Oh, we should get him in the game. We should get him in the game. And that was it. Done. That's it. Easy. <laughs> and it was, it was started from there. And it's a fantastic conversation because I know it sounds silly to say, but Seriously, when you have endorsements and, and, and things, you know, people know money is exchanged. But I guarantee you this, it was always secondary. That conversation about fee was always, it was more about, you know, what can I do? Can I get in the game? How can I look? You know, <clears throat> can you make me look realistic? My my physique, my celebration, all those things as well. Well, you've really opened a door here. Oh, I yeah. think who's like going to approach you now? From I hope, world, I right? hope like everyone phones me and gets me on Twitter and yeah, yeah, seriously. Oh, well, just got a goal as well there as oh, well. Wow, Fantastic. Well. Whoever's playing backstage, nice job. <laughs> yeah. And this is Fantastic. some live gameplay you've brought here. So what other, what other changes can we expect in 2018? Well, I do want to say this is a world exclusive. This is the first time that we're showing the uh, gameplay of Pez. And it's a big moment for us as well because Pez 2018 is the end goal for us after three years of hard work. So this is the first Pez where you look at and you see the play and Pez 17, 16, 15, those three years had a fine link between them, but 18 is like cut from a new cloth. Oh. We've completely redone the, uh, the visuals, the animation system, the physicality, the goalkeepers. It's, it's such a crazy list of new features in the game. I think the main things for E3, because we announced the game back in May, where we announced all these you know, uh, new things, but for E3, obviously, it's Usain Bolt. Uh, if you pre-order the game, you can use him in uh, my club. Um, and the second thing, which is really important for us, is to improve the online. So we're launching an online beta, which is open for everybody. Open uh, when? Open at the end of July. We're okay. aiming for the 20th take of note. July. Nice. Yeah, take notes. That's it's only, <laughs> it's only available for 11 days. It's on oh. PS4 and Xbox One. Okay, set alarm <laughs> yeah. for the notes you're taking. Again, we've not done this since uh, 2011. So it's been a long time for the company, but we brought it back because we need to improve the online. And I think that's one of the weaknesses that we sort of need to fix and, and get ourselves stronger. Obviously, online is you know, super important. Everyone plays online. So right. it's something that we're really focusing on. With online, we've got this whole new esports system with Pez League. Um, and, we're, and we're bringing our new 3v3, which is our new co-op, uh, into there. Uh, one really cool thing about uh, Pesley, which is our esports thing, is is having the balancing stats as well. What that means is, is obviously you're playing, you're seeing uh, Dortmund against Barcelona. These teams are very strong, but maybe you support a lower division team. Right. You can use them, go online, and use the same stats across the board. Oh, so that's cool. So you have to worry about like if you have a favorite team, just their stats are like generally a little bit lower, but like you can still, like play a favorite team and be competitive on the game. Exactly. That's and, great. Yeah, and and it's fair, and then it's about skill. Right. You know, and I think that's what I think when it comes to, to true esports, you want that sort of level uh, playing field, Absolutely. really. Over anything else. Absolutely. Needs to be fair. Absolutely. Uh, you mentioned a, a 3v3. What can you tell us about that? Well, it's something that we were looking at uh, mainly because a lot of our fans were asking for 2v2. And when we sort of 
look at what they really want. We wanted to add in a little bit extra. I mean, obviously, with, with 3v3, you do see a lot of um, esports competitions with that sort of 3v3. One of the biggest things that PES has is trying to convince a lot of people to play PES over FIFA. And we honestly feel that if you try to if you love the game, but right. all your friends don't, right. it's difficult for you to convince your friends. You want to sort of bring them with you and right. play together. And I think that's where it came from. Um, and we've really focused, ooh, oh. we've really focused <laughs> on the uh, uh, game modes around the 3v3 where it has all the stats collected, how you perform as a clan. And you can also do really cool things like if you score a goal, there's some special uh, three player celebrations that oh, you can do together cool. which you can trigger as well which is a lot of fun so how are the how is the player control uh, the in-game player control broken down for three people uh, right. in the course of one match actually it's uh, it's rather simple it's like we actually do the 2v2 co-op right now uh, in pairs offline and it's just a case of you know uh, uh, pressing L1 or the right stick just to change your player. So it's, I think it's more about the communication between the players because everyone's going to be um, be able to choose any player, but you don't want to overtake somebody who's maybe about to shoot or about to defend and things like that. So you don't want to see that. Wow, I would love to listen to the comms in those matches. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, one of the most important things here that you're seeing, I do want to add, is the visual difference between last year is massive. I want the the big reasons why we actually got it here. So what you're watching, this is in daytime at the Camp Nou Stadium, which is the Barcelona Stadium, right. which is exclusively in pairs. And we actually went there early in the year. We actually took a full uh, camera team, scanning team, and we scanned the full stadium. Oh. So we scanned the pitch, the stadium exterior. We went into the tunnels. We went into the changing rooms. Like a like a Matterport, like five by five meters at a time. Like <laughs> <laughs> we actually had like uh, drones and stuff. It was a little bit more high tech. Okay, now. Cool. <laughs> that would have taken a long time. That would have been a while. <laughs> but we actually, you know, we actually uh, captured that in day and at night time. We actually stayed there. The team stayed there till the evening. Sun went down. Went back out. And redid the all the lighting, on. all the shadow. How cool I is think that? it's fantastic work. And we've done that with uh, uh, Borussia Dortmund as well, who you're seeing here as well. So what we've done is a lot of work to make the game look fantastic. I talked about this whole three-year difference. Yeah. This, this time is taken to create this masterpiece. We believe it's a masterpiece. And it's, and it, and it, it, it's so much work that we had to do something where you just look at it right. and you compare it. and. The game kind of sells itself. I mean, I'm here it talking to you, but it really does sell itself. The movements are just so nice. I'm just looking at the, like, the like, leg movement and the kicks and just the way you're kind of like traveling around. I'm, I yeah. mean, it's just so well done. I'm well, so that, happy that you mentioned that. Uh, sorry, I, I, Please. what I was going to say is, every year we always add in a few hundred uh, you know, motions. Right. But this is the first game where you're sort of talking about thousands. And the reason is, is that we did something called base layer revolution which is absolutely changing the core so how you walk how you turn and things like that wow Great. good shows yeah that was Fantastic. my question is how do you how many like points of data are used in, in each of these uh, characters that they move? an insane amount <laughs> we have 150 editors worldwide uh, you know giving us stats how the players move wow. how they should shoot I mean it's absolutely crazy that's nuts but it, but it shows off